Okay. Good morning, Farmer Pete. Good Let morning. Know what we're doing this morning. Well, we're we're going to uh, graft our tomato root stock to our less vigorous eggplant root uh, scions, and uh, we're going to see how they work in the field for us this year. They say they produce longer, and maybe a lot of our members might not want them to produce that long. So, <laughs> so we're just trying this as an experiment. This is Maxifort rootstock, and this is Slim Purple, which is a less vigorous eggplant. And I will be cutting the top or the scion off of the eggplant and connecting it to our tomato root stock. We'll trim the leaves off to take a lot of the stress off the plant while it's healing in our hospital. I've already cut these root stocks and I'll match up the 60 degree cut with the 60 degree cut on the tomato root stock. Anything and, specific we should know when trying to match up? Well, you sh I look at the light, try to see if I can see any air spaces. I'm teaching my son to do it. He's got much better eyes than I do. So that looks pretty good to me. We'll put it in the tray and we'll get another one. And Tell us the perfect conditions to keep to keep these plants while they're healing. Well we've got them in this refrigerated trailer with no refrigeration but a heater in it. We've got a humidifier because you want to keep your humidity at 95 okay. percent. And we have a, a heater in here and we're keeping it at 85 degrees which is perfect. And then we can close this up and it's perfectly dark, which we're trying that because I think we'll get better results from the the darkness than we did in the greenhouse because it it's too stressful in, in the greenhouse because it, it's too much light and the plant wants to bend to the light and that will make the union separate. Okay. We're hoping we'll do a better job. We only had about 65 to 70 percent success rate the last time we did it. We've changed a lot of our practices hoping that this will be better. So show us that leaf. So show us the stem so we can see it after you've cut it. We just leave just a just a tiny bit that'll fit down in this silicon clip and as we put it in at the opposite angle just slips right in and as the, the plant heals and the, once it's 
uh, it's healed and starts to grow, the clip just falls off as the plant gets bigger. So we don't have to go in and take them off. Very good. Thank you very much. Can't wait to see the results. I hope it's better than the last time.